PA Preschool, we are very excited about what our children are doing, are doing with the symphony. The Jacksonville Symphony Orchestra um, has partnered with us this year, and it's been a wonderful experience. And you might think, what do little children know about the symphony? We'll tell you. They have made it their own. They've drawn pictures about the symphony. They've measured themselves against a bassoon. Most of our children are not as tall as a bassoon, but they're all taller than an oboe, and they know that. They've um, made graphs of what their favorite instrument is. They've dressed up in little princess dresses and suit coats and sold tickets that they made to go to the symphony. They've done everything they can think of in conjunction with the symphony because they've seen the symphony come to their school and play in their room. We're building up a great bibliography of fiction and nonfiction books about symphony, about music in general, that the children are hearing every day. So they're getting the vocabulary, they're getting the wonderful stories, they're getting the idea that music is an important part of everybody's life. One of the connections that I like is we have little friends. We have this one little friend, Avi, that doesn't really like to draw. It's not his favorite thing. But after he loves music and after the quintet came, Avi drew this very complex drawing of um, musicians. They had instruments coming out of their mouths. And this is a little guy who, you know, it's like twisted arms to get him to do art. And he was excited to draw this picture. So that, to me, says a lot about the influence that it has on the children. One other little girl, remember Daniela's um, drawing? Uh, Miss Diane lifted her up when the pianist came in, and she was able to look into the piano and see the hammers and see how it made that sound. And she drew this beautiful picture of the actual the hammers inside the piano with these colors coming out, like beautiful musical colors. And I, I think it's just, you know, it's really affecting them. It's affecting all their dramatic play and their art, and um, we're really enjoying it. We have cards here with pictures of different instruments from each instrument family. And what we'll do at circle time is, going to circle time, I'll give each child a card. That'll be their ticket for circle. Then they need to find the other um, children who are in their instrument family and sit with them and to figure out, okay, you're a string and I'm a string, so we're going to sit next to each other because we play our instrument um, using a bow. or. We are a uh, woodwind because we make music by blowing into our instrument. Or we are in the percussion instrument family because we make our music by banging on the instrument. And talk about active listening skills. These children are in the process of developing those skills, and that's something we want to see with every child, is the ability to really listen to something. And that's what the symphonic music is doing. Um, the people of the symphony has, have come in ensembles. They've come as soloists, which is a word our four and five year olds are, are learning. And they are playing. Some of them are playing exciting loud music or quiet music. They're letting the children 
um, stomp around the room in time to the beat, or they're letting them draw while the music plays. They get to see how instruments are, are taken apart, how they're cleaned, which was a favorite part. Um, it's, it's really been an amazing thing, and the parents are reporting to us that it's the hot topic of dinner conversation in homes. Young children have to play it to get it. They have to dress up in it. They have to be it. They have to take turns as conductor. They have to take turns as musicians. They have to be it and live it and play it to understand it. So taking a curriculum like the JCA has done and working directly with the symphony to target young children and how they learn is so important. You can't take a curriculum that was made for an elementary school child and simplify it for a preschooler. It's totally different. They have to play it, they have to live it, they have to totally immerse themselves own. in it, yes. make it their own, yes, absolutely. Right. And that's what they're doing here. When you get a child when they're three or four or five and making all those connections in their brain and to have that at such a young age makes such an impression on their little lives. That's the time to approach a child about art and music. Um, is when they're young and that really in influences their lives. <laughs>